Thank you so much for joining us on Straight Out of Savannah. I am super excited that my guest, Michelle Blood, is here. She is going to share a little bit about who she is and what it is that she does and how she can help you. Michelle, take it away. Thank you, Tammy. Hello, everyone. I am here today to uplift you, to get you to realize that nothing is impossible for you because I found that nothing was impossible for me. I was a rock singer in Australia. I toured at one stage for seven years nonstop, had hit records and all that sort of stuff. And on my way home from a gig, a 12 hour drive in a truck, what happened was the truck driver had fallen asleep because Australia is huge. It's huge, but there's not many people there. So you have to drive a long way in between cities. Okay. And he fell, yeah. yeah, he fell asleep, 12 hour drive. And as the passenger, all the musical equipment went into me when he hit the telephone. Oh, oh. oh. so I won't go into all the gory details. I don't want someone to lose their breakfast, lunch or dinner. <laughs> <laughs> all right. oh. But it was pretty horrific, Tammy, and I was in the hospital for months and months and months. Longest operation was 17 and a half hours. Oh my God. First two weeks, I didn't think I was going to survive. But anyway, the, the amazing thing about my story is that was the best thing that ever happened to me. So if mm. it, any of you are out there going through anything at all, understand everything happens for a reason. Sometimes we're not on the correct trajectory for our divine purpose and we attract a, an accident or someone leaves us and we think, oh, that's the worst thing that's never happened to us when it ends up being the best thing that ever happened to you. <laughs> yes. So that's how my true spiritual journey and what I do now truly began in that moment, in that horrific truck accident. <laughs> yes. So, so did you feel even at that time, did you have like a, a sense of your own mortality? Did your life flash before you? Any of that stuff that people say? No, no, it didn't. I was just in such horrific pain and, and I couldn't feel anything. And the ambulance guys were laughing with me because they were like, we have to cut off your boots. And I had these really high puss and boot leather p p boots. I don't know why I had them on in the truck, but anyway, I did. <laughs> <laughs> but he said, we'll have to cut them. I went, oh no, they're my favorite boots. Do you have to? <laughs> Can you just zip them off? <laughs> and he said, you don't feel any pain right now? And I said, no, I'm good. <laughs> I was just in such shock. I didn't realize that I was actually had that much damage to my body, had no clue. So anyway, it oh, wasn't until, wow. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it was, it's just fascinating how the body goes through what it goes through. But what happened to me, what changed my life was I was living the life of, a rock singer traveling at one stage seven years non-stop working with in excess the pretenders i mean georgia Ooh. satellites you name it we yeah. toured with so many big bands and midnight oil and everyone and um and we also toured on our own we had our own audience and videos and everything so i was living my dream it had taken me a long time to get there but i was living my dream i'd worked very very hard i was very self-disciplined I was the manager, the lead singer, the songwriter of the band. I got us Time Warner record labels, you name it, I did it. So I wasn't looking for anything outside of myself, Tammy, because I was living the dream. We had record companies in yes. Europe interested in signing us at that stage. Everything was just on a real beautiful momentum, or so we thought. <laughs> <laughs> right? What happened? For me, I had miraculous healing, Tammy, like divine miraculous healing through me discovering affirmations. I'd never heard of motivational speakers and stuff like that. Wasn't in my periphery because I didn't need motivation. I was motivated. Let me tell you. You were good. I was good to go, right? <laughs> every moment, every day. And there was something about it. When Napoleon Hill from the book Think and Grow Rich in his book, they put on audio books for me to get me to be uplifted because I was in such a depressed state. I wouldn't tell yeah. anyone, mm -hmm. but if I had the ability to kill myself, I would have. Yeah. I actually would have because I was in such horrific pain. And if I couldn't be on the stage doing my backflips and jumping on speakers and all the crazy shit I did <laughs> <laughs> as an entertainer, you know, it's like, what am mm -hmm. I going to do if I can't do all that? So, right. so obviously. Who are you, right? Yeah, who am I? 
Mm -hmm. I'm Michelle Blood. Ah. Anyway, um, Napoleon Hill healed his little infant son. His little baby boy was born 100% deaf. Napoleon Hill, who wrote the book Think and Grow Rich, went mm -hmm. into his little infant, gives me God bumps just talking about it, went into his little infant son's room every night. You mm. can hear perfectly. You have grown up to be a strong, handsome, beautiful man. You mm. love people. They love you. You've become wealthy. You, you're lovely. You know, just all these beautiful affirmations. Yeah. And you know when you just know something, yes. something within me <laughs> just said, that is going to work for me. I'm mm. going to do an affirmation. But it didn't yeah. work for me. It did not work for me, Temi. <laughs> you know why it didn't work? Why is that? Because I was saying, I am healed. I know I am. I love myself. I am my friend. But And that's a good affirmation because you're saying, I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, right. I am healed. I wasn't healed. So that's a good lie. That's what an affirmation is basically a lie. Yes. You're saying something you want as if you've already got it. Yes. But now they know. Neuroscience has proven in studies that affirmations won't work if your doubting mind spits it out short-term yes. memory spits it out spits it out now how was i going to believe that affirmation when doctors were coming in and telling me you know if you do make it through the next operation very they have to tell you the truth if you do blah 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 blah. would you like a priest you know all this stuff in real yeah life. you need to pray <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um so i was like i okay this doesn't work it's not working for me obviously i don't believe it and then about two weeks later, I had a true epiphany. I'm a singer-songwriter, Tammy. Can you get a song out of your head, even if you want to, that's played a lot? You can't because no. a song goes, advertising agencies spend billions of dollars every year. Yes. Billions yes. on jingles because yes. jingles uh, go straight into the subconscious mind. Your doubting mind doesn't have a chance to say it. Before you know it, you're going, Toyota. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> what am I singing the Toyota song for? Why, why am I thinking about pizzas all of a sudden? The pizza song came up. And kids, yes. little kids learn their ABCs through music. Yes, so I that's just, how we teach them. Yeah, so I just put my little cassette player on. I got them to get me a blank cassette because I used to always sing all my songwriting ideas onto a cassette so okay. again, so the short term memory didn't lose a great song idea. So I just went, I am healed. I know I am. I love hmm. myself. I am my friend. I kept singing it over and over and over I like again. That. So I asked my brother, Stephen, to go out and find some affirmation pop music. And he came back about a week later and said, there isn't any. There's no such that we didn't have the internet back then. He couldn't just Google it. <laughs> right, right. You and they go didn't look have any. Here. So what happened was I ended up um, having miraculous healing, went to record so many more affirmation songs, not to put to the public, because that would, I thought it was that would be uncool, but just for me and my band, because mm -hmm. I knew it was going straight into our subconscious mind and that our state of consciousness was changing. Our frequency was changing. I was yeah. getting into the studies of mysticism and meditation and I yes. just loved it all, the positive thought wave. It was yes. just, and this is the 80s, right? The late 80s. Anyway, so promoters ended up finding out about my healing because of the fact that I was being interviewed on TV about my healing because I was a pop singer. Um, mm -hmm. Marie Claire, you name it. I was in all these magazines. And so yes. they said, we want you to tour with Bob Proctor, Deepak Chopra, Wayne Dyer. And I went, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> they weren't in your world. <laughs> they weren't in my world, no. But anyway, I couldn't believe it. The first gig, they said, well, you get five grand a gig. You can sell you CDs at the back. I said, what CDs? I, well, the affirmation music. We want you to sing your affirmation song, get everyone involved in between these blokes you know who, who was best-selling authors from the states and i went why <laughs> and i said you want to pay me that much you want my band with me and they said no just backing music and i was like this is ridiculous I, i'm lucky to make that in three months because <laughs> the, ima the amount of money we made all went to the road crew the agents the, yeah. i mean the hiring of the trucks i mean we made 250 dollars each a week 
That's all I gave my van to live on because accommodation was given. We were given beautiful cockroach palaces to stay in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I mean, we used, to, we used to bring paint with us so that we could paint over the cockroaches on the walls until we got more well-known. They, the, the places that hired us just gave us shit accommodation, just disgusting. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we did every time we went into an accommodation, an old house or something, we would just paint it. I couldn't believe it. The first time I got to stay in just a mot Motel 6 environment, I thought I was in a five-star resort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know what that puts me in the mind of? Back in the old, old, old days here, the Chitlin Circuit. They just would run around and just they would stay anywhere, like in people's houses and all kinds of stuff like that. <laughs> That's what that reminds me. <laughs> <laughs> just glad to be on the road, right? Yeah, really. I mean, it was worth it. It was when I think back, it's like I cannot believe I couldn't even speak during the day because I had to sing sometimes for six hours a night. I oh. couldn't, so I could never speak during the day because I had to um, keep my mouth shut. So uh, I, I, I even had. Um, my agents that were in Brisbane or the Gold Coast, I should say, they they knew when I called because I had this uh, system where I would like so many times and I'd want to speak to Graham, my agent, and he would say, what's up? And I would they, we'd have a yes or a no code because they all knew I couldn't speak during the day. And we were the only band that never blew out a gig because the reason bands blow out gigs all the time, Axl Rose blew gigs out all the time because he didn't look after his voice is because they don't look after their voice, they're drinking, they're smoking, they're not exercising, and they're yes. talking too much during the day. Mm -hmm. uh, so we never blew out a gig, so I'm proud of that. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. But anyway, so what what I do now, I've worked in over 26 countries. I've toured with Bob Proctor, Deepak Chopper. Everyone wanted to work with me after that. And I started teaching more about mysticism. Uh, my biggest audience was 50,000 people in Kuala Lumpur, which was unbelievable. Ooh, awesome. I'd, I'd done gigs to four to 6,000 people a lot, but not that many people. It's just like the, a roar of all these people. And I had hit That's records. A lot of people. <laughs> Hit records in different countries. I started writing books about mysticism, started studying meditation. And I realized that my everything that I had learned how to handle, if you can handle 6,000 drunken Australians when you're singing, show us your tits. Oh, thank you. The operation was a success. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out well. If you can handle that, you can handle anything thrown at you, any energy. Yes. So I realized that, that was why I had all that experience on stage and and being able to handle and put on events and put on concerts and everything to be able to put on seminar events and make them sort of like a rock concert almost and i've done that now in over 26 countries so i teach this i've got students all over the world uh teach meditation mysticism but i always like to start with the affirmation music because of the fact somebody can be here and they can get there very very quickly because the affirmation goes into their subconscious mind 300 times faster than any other method to change your thinking bring up your frequency immediately and immediately have a a, a definite experience and then mm -hmm. we go deeper and deeper into sending that transmission of light praying intention uh visualization just every tool that there is, I like to teach because I know some people, uh, they don't want to go too deeply into mysticism, not yet. They just want to be happier, a little wealthier and or healed, their body healed. So yes. I, I like, no matter what is going on in the world, Tammy, my job is to release suffering in the world and make people laugh. That's mm. it. it I love that. <laughs> I love that. And that that is so needful, especially now. Oh, it is always needed and it will always be required on this planet because everyone thinks that this world is so spiritually evolved and they confuse it because of the fact that technology they think technology makes us more highly conscious evolved people souls but that is not the case no. because you can have no education whatsoever and become enlightened you know, look at Sri Ramakrishna, look at Jesus Christ. I mean, it's like there's so many uh, 
things that people don't understand about awakening, about enlightenment, about prayer, about God, about themselves, because yes. there is always these wars that continue to go on. And that is insanity. The, yes. the judgments, the, yes. it, it just blows me away. Uh, it, in Australia, we don't have as much as that uh, going on. So <laughs> I didn't really notice until I came to America, it really opened my eyes to how many yeah. people, how many people were homeless and the, the racism and the, you know, I was like, this is sucks. You know? It is horrible. It, yeah. it, I, I couldn't believe it was so unevolved because America is America, but I still decided that this was, <laughs> yeah, I still decided. I've heard that so many times. Yeah. People were like, well, you guys do that in the States? I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Here too. I remember I had a, a friend from Kuala Lumpur because I lived in Asia for quite a few years. I ran Bob Proctor seminars and everything from Asia. Had a really great band there. Wait, and you and... didn't share that. What? Oh, yeah. You ran Bob Proctor seminars? Yeah, from Kuala Lumpur because Bob and I Bob and I had started working together. When I toured Australia with him, he said, you have got to work with me all over the world. I've never seen such energy at our events. I want to write the affirmation songs with you. So we, we've we written about three, well, how many, wow, about 30 programs together over the years before he left the body. Um, yeah, so he his wife actually came up with the name Musevation, but I went back to calling it the magic of affirmation power because that's what it is. It's affirmation power on um, adrenaline because there's music with it. <laughs> so let's, let's talk a little bit about that. Because that okay. I know is so helpful for people. I actually like dove into affirmations. And one of the things that I started doing for my clients was doing, um, when I do like a reading for them, record their affirmations so that they oh. can listen to it on loop, you know, put a little music to it and record Definitely. it. Definitely. That's it. Even if you're speaking your affirmations, if you add music to it, you have a, a whole brain experience because yes. the left side yes. of the brain is activated. And the right side of the brain with the music or melody is activated and it goes straight into your subconscious mind. So when I also do visualization programs or whatever, I always put music underneath it as well because it's um it works better. <laughs> well, it 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 shifts, you it know, because because music music is like a natural vibration shifter, you know. If oh, you it is shift, you just put some music on, you know. I I've been listening to Michael Jackson's Earth song for the last few weeks. Oh, I love that song. Oh, I, I just found it. it like a few months ago. Oh. I, I love Michael Jackson so much. He's, um, he was just such an innocent and, and so beautiful. And Deepak, because we were touring Australia, would tell me all about it because he was like a friend of Michael's. And, and yeah. I was like, that's all I wanted to talk about with Deepak was just Michael Jackson. Because <laughs> he was so, he was so awesome. And, and he was, Oh God, they just tried to vilify him. And I yeah, yeah. I loved him and he was, you know, and I found out human design, he was a reflector. So that makes you know that he definitely was a unicorn. <laughs> he, he, he was totally yeah. a unicorn. Yes. He was amazing. I, so I, I loved well put. Him. You just gave me God bumps again. I just <laughs> that that's so well put. I love that when that happens. Yeah. Waves, waves of ecstasy and God bumps. Yes. Yes. It's like, <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I can imagine Deepak probably has some amazing stories about him. Oh, he really did. Because back then, this is the late eighties. Mm -hmm. um, it was, he was talking about the 3d uh, machine that Michael had. So, you know, uh, Jackson Brown yeah. or whoever he wanted, or, you know, Einstein would come and speak and he said it's in a like a this big round silver table and wow just you know that was back then and he said he just had all the latest technology always that there was so but i mean a brilliant songwriter i mean just him and prince were my favorites because could, <gasps> oh I that's could, the other one <laughs> yeah I, I and i i met prince once anyway i went to um i i was I was always determined if I wanted to meet someone or do something, I would do it. And I did. <laughs> See, and that's went, serving you well, even with this. I went to Paisley Park. It was amazing. Oh, nice. Nice. I can imagine. I've not been there. You've been there? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. It, just, it's, it's just state of the art everything. There's a huge movie studio. There's state of the art as a recording 
person and you know I know how to produce records I have produced other people's records too the state of the art studios I was just like oh god I just want to live in here no wonder <laughs> no wonder he recorded having that sort of instrumentation and yes and, and the huge 48 track oh it was just magical I That's, can imagine. You know, that, that was just <laughs> orgasmic to me. And I wore a purple suit. <laughs> so you were ready. I was ready. <laughs> Minneapolis, is, here I come. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. I love how, I love your whole story. I mean, just from the mir miraculous healing, because I, I love that. And I've seen them and I, I hope to be a part of many more, <laughs> but I think that is so powerful. And just the fact that you were able to heal your body, you know, cause it, when you were talking, it put me in the mind of, um, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Have you heard his story? He basically did the same thing. You know, he, he used the power of his mind to heal his body. Oh, many people have. I mean, it's, everyone can do it. We've all got the power within us, yes. that yes. divine power within us to do it. But I've got something really, 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 really super exciting to share with you, Tammy. Yes. Can I share yes. it now? Yes, you can share it. Yes. Okay. I'm going to yell it from the yes, rooftop. Okay. Affirmation music works so fast. Now, technology today is just changing the universe. It is changing everything. And there's sometimes the technology is just, terrible and people get swept away way down rabbit holes watching YouTube for hours. But it is also something positive. We have created an app called Ooh. Magnet to Money app, Magnet to Money app that has the world renowned, which has been listened to over 4 million times, Magnet to Money song that I wrote that has been done in many, many different languages. So you nice. can get a notification every hour. I'm a magnet to money. And every hour you you are reinforced with that prosperity consciousness. Before you know it, you start attracting all of this uh, wonderful stuff into your life. Plus over sixty spoken affirmations with music, all on success and divine healing, and it's just it's amazing. It's just been launched. Uh, our team was working on it for a year and a half. Oh and wow! So, yeah, it's only ninety nine cents. Other people charge, gosh, only knows. But um, but there's also something I've got. For, now, is it is it on uh, Apple or both? Yeah, yeah. It's only on. It's only for iPhones for now. It'll be okay. just a few months away before it's for um. What's that other phone called? Um, Android. Yeah, I was going to say Galaxy. I am an Android. I am an Android. <laughs> right. No, it's only for iPhone at the it's moment. An <laughs> Android. <laughs> You know that's what I think about when I say that. Danger, so you... danger, Will Robinson. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I think we're telling our generation. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Well, you're younger than me for sure, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, but it's still the generation. But Probably the, the, not the, much. Uh, but Tammy, no, you got a baby face. What are you talking about? Girl, anyway. I got a grandbaby. Well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> because apparently you have to have children to have grandbabies. It's one of those things, you know. <laughs> I don't know people people that don't have kids have grand dogs. <laughs> I've got cats. <laughs> yeah, see. <laughs> They're like children. Yeah, of course they are. Absolutely. I call them my children. I was gonna say just not as needy, I don't think. <laughs> oh no, no, no. They especially the little boy, no, he's he is so needy because they're Siamese cats and Siamese cats are like puppies. I mean, oh. he will actually, he will fetch. <laughs> but whereas I throw something down to get her to fetch, she just says, excuse me, I'm the queen. <laughs> like, 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 what do you want me to do? <laughs> you go and get it. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, I've got something free that is amazing for your beautiful, beautiful awesome. viewers, Tammy, because they will love you for this because they love you anyway because you're awesome but my latest book the magic of affirmation power Ooh. and also some uh, best-selling products that i did with bob proctor the goal setting magnetic creative visualization the practice of meditation nice. some of the best-selling songs that i wrote with bob proctor all this for free because i know whoever you are out there watching this or listening to this 
You can do anything. This yeah. is a gift to assist you to go to the next level of whatever it is that you want to achieve or manifest into your experience because nothing, no thing is impossible for you. All you have to do is go to Michelle Blood, M-I-C-H-E-L-E, B-L-O-O-D. Don't, I, it's not a stage name, blame my daddy. It's an Irish name, Michelle Blood. <laughs> I was actually going to ask you about that. So that yeah. No, it's an Irish name because the bloods, doctors were called bloods. It's like people get a name Butcher Baker because of what they used to do. And okay. a blood was someone who was a doctor. They didn't have a name for doctor in Ireland at the time. But anyway, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Michelleblood.com forward slash Savannah to receive all of those free products. But what I would like you to do, for those of you who think this is woo woo i want you to know this has been scientifically studied now john hopkins berkeley and on my website michelleblood.com you'll see the spiritual studies i mean the scientific studies and so have a just have a read of that about the music with affirmations and the, all the studies that we've done because i want people to have faith and if you don't have faith that this is going to work at least you might have faith in science Yes but, yes, but science and spirituality are both things you can't see. So I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't see physics and molecules and things like that. I mean, come on. No, but you can right. feel it. Oh, you can feel and you can it. feel all the energy surrounding all of that. Oh yes. You can feel it. Waves of ecstasy. That's God. That's the light. That's the frequency. That's the vibration. And that is the truth for everyone. Everyone can feel that humming in their heart, that yes, joy, yes, 24 yes. seven, it doesn't take much to shift. Sometimes people get frustrated to me. It's like, if they feel like they've got one fine little hair away from their success, and they're trying, and they're doing it, and they're doing their affirmations, and you'd find that with your clients. And then it just takes one little shift. And then they're into the creative plane of life. Yes, it's, it's like what I say, in America, they've got, you know, you've got to have two people in the fast lane. So where two or more are gathered, you are in the fast lane of life. <laughs> yes. So I call yes. that lane the, I love the that. two or more are gathered lane. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's like, okay, here we go. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about this. I, I cannot wait for, you know, the people to get their stuff because this is powerful. And just the fact that you know, because the thing is, is you hear all kinds of people and people talk about all of these beautiful concepts that we're sharing here today. But a lot of times, you know, they haven't really been through anything. And the fact that you've been through and that you use these same tools to help yourself is powerful. And that's a really important point, like important point, because I, I've met so many people from all over the world, Tammy, and, right. you know, and they want to be speakers, they want to be authors, and they're plagiarizing everybody. Instead of right. having their own experience, you don't want to go to a piano player who can't play piano. Yes. yes. <laughs> you, you, it's important to go to people or that have gone through the experience. They haven't, they haven't decided, oh, that looks like that would be a really cool sort of thing, thing to, to be do. in. I want to be a speaker. I'll make a lot of money. You've got to do it because you love people and you can't not do it. It's like yes. all those years of being a rock singer and all the hardship I had to go through. There was no way in, in any moment, any moment that I was going to quit. I was singing professionally since the age of five on TV. I was always going to be a singer and I still am. So, you know, it's like, it's just sort of changed what it what it's doing it's now something that is for the world and you've got such a beautiful me. voice well thank you well it's not really warmed up today but that was nice of you to say so but i was just about to say to the people like even if you don't like my voice or my songs but you will they're awesome <laughs> you, <laughs> you you can't get them out of your head that's where you want the magnet to money song to go the persistence song the success yes. song i am healed song i am a miracle song yes you want yes. all of those affirmations to change your frequency and they do yes y yeah yes that is the thing it's like you already know that they're going to change yes i actually actually have been 
And it's been really weird that we're talking about this, but that's one of the things that I've been doing with some of my clients that I do. Uh, I do readings in a metaphysical store. And oh, so nice. some of my clients, you know, I had started doing them and I hadn't actually done people in real, real life. I did people on Zoom. <laughs> So, so when I went in the store, I was like, oh my God, did I really do this? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's wild because I have the, the people that have come, it's like at the end of it, it's like, okay, I, I go, you know, do you mind if I share some affirmations for you? You know, cause I'll ask them, do you meditate? Do you, you know, do you do affirmations? Do you do any of these things? And they're like, no, you know, I don't know. I said, well, listen, I said, based on what we just did, I said, these are some affirmations you can do. And I give them the affirmations. You know, and I find that that is like amazing because I actually have people come back or call me and say, those things were so good. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, okay. All yeah. Right. yeah, it's like, it's just absolutely mind blowing how simple it is. I always say kiss, keep it simple yes. and spiritual. Oh, I like and, that. And you'll always be on the right track. Yes, that is that is so awesome. So with that, I want Michelle to share the best way to connect with her and whatever else she wants to share as we close out. Well, well, I think just go to michelleblood.com forward slash, slash Savannah. And also, you know, do yourself a favor. If you've got an iPhone and you've got 99 cents, <laughs> change your life. Be a magnet to money app.com. And uh, it's, it's truly something I'm very thrilled about because I know how much it's going to change people's lives. And it's just, it's, you know, and our app team are just awesome. Go app team. You can go. Yay. yay. <laughs> and, and the name of the app. Magnet to money. Magnet to money. Okay. Cause I'm going to get it. Oh yes, you are. You, got, you, you will love it. You love all the affirmations They they just keep going continuously. And there's yes. a few seconds left for people to repeat them after me. Or just listen to them as they're going to sleep really softly or yes. whatever they want. It's it's just fantabulous. I can imagine. So did it, you did you write the music for it or yeah. No? Yeah, yeah. All the you content did. is mine. Yeah. Nice. I love that. But, I love but that. Beautiful mm -hmm. Holly. I call her Holly Go Lightly. Holly Fuller, John and Dara and Trevor Rogers. That's our app team. And we are awesome and we just love what we do. <laughs> See, and that's the point. Yeah. Because out here in this world is so crazy. So many people are not loving what they're doing, you know, it just, and you can tell it when you go places, it's like, yeah, it's just a job, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, they, you've got to be, you've got to be working. Hours. You've got to work with people as well that you all love each other. And you've just got that frequency of something special between you, that synergy, that synergy. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> All righty. This has been fabulous. I have enjoyed this so much. My guest, Michelle Blood, she's amazing, awesome. I just, I love her. <laughs> I love you too, Tammy Girl. So she knows. <laughs> Tammy, Tammy. <laughs> and listen to her beautiful voice, y'all. So beautiful. You have so. a beautiful day. Every one of Tammy's beautiful, straight out of Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. West Coast people. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm telling you, it's like okay. irony. <laughs> it is right, and people always do that too. They're like, "So are you in Savannah?" I'm like, "No, I haven't been in Savannah in 25 years. I love Savannah because." But you've got the accent, and I love the accent. <laughs> yeah, I've I've been here for 23 years. I've still got this Aussie accent. G'day, mate. How's it going? Right. <laughs> and I knew that. That's why I was like, where's she? Where's she at? Because <laughs> I actually have had a lot of Aussie girls on my show. So oh, I that's kind great. of yeah, picked it up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes. And different parts too. Because I noticed the accents are different there too. Uh, in I different think there's only, parts. There's only two accents in Australia. Really? There's my accent and there's the Oka accent. The Oka accent is like Paul Hogan. It's like, um, yes, like like the uh, the crocodile guy, Steve. Yes, uh, yes. That's, you know, mate, we're going to be looking at this croc over here, and it's going to be like a you little beauty. He's a nice little <laughs> bloke. This croc is, yes. and bloody bloody good bloke. This croc, and he's not going to kill me. No, nope, that's not the way I'm going to go. That's right, isn't that? 
Yeah. yeah. See, those are the ones that it's hard. That's, it was hard. <laughs> a little more difficult. <laughs> well, because because uh, there were so many cockneys that were, were uh, they'd steal a loaf of bread because they were starving in England. And then they were sent to paradise. So pff, England. <laughs> yeah that's that's yeah so the, that's, that's the that's the cockney accent from you know all the convicts that were sent they weren't really convicts they were sent over there to farm but they just steal a loaf of bread and they were put on a ship for two years to get to australia and uh that's where that accent came from was the it sounds very cockney londony you know okay that that's what i said i was like okay so i yeah because i interviewed a girl from new zealand i think last week so that well, that's was also very like a, that's very similar to Australian mm-hmm. accent. Uh, some New Zealanders uh, they've they've almost got like a Canadian Canadian thing going on. That's like yes, a boot, yes. a boot. Yes, and, and yes. they don't say they don't say six. They say sex. Yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've heard that. I was like, oh wow. You know, I think it's interesting just to listen to. You know, people oh, from yeah. all over the planet. It's yeah, just I, so I, nice. I love everyone in every country I've ever been to. I found, and I've been to a lot of countries. I found I <laughs> the one thing that is true is everyone wants to be loved. They want to love in return. They yes. want to feel their own purpose. Yes. They, they, they want to make their loved ones happy. Uh, yes. I mean, everyone is the same. It doesn't matter what the culture, what the religion. Everyone is has that power of the divine within them to love and to be loved and to become anything they want to become and all you have to do is raise your vibration raise that frequency and i'm telling you my friends this affirmation music and what we're doing in the app will raise your vibration so far so i thank you so much tammy for having me on i want you to send trevor my assistant lots of uh, i mean not lots one address (laughs) lots of addresses (laughs) One address so that I can personally ship you a lot of my products for you to read and listen to awesome. because, because I just think you're lovely and I want to stay in touch. Thank you. I appreciate you. But yes, um, I have one more question I want to ask. Oh, we sure. sure. What is your favorite, all the countries you've been to, what's the favorite one? Bhutan. Where's that at? Bhutan is uh, the, the country of enlightenment and it is um, sort of, there's China, there's Bhutan, there's Tibet then oh. down there there's india and okay. it's 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 where they uh where they used to call like the land of paradise and it wasn't until uh the 90s i believe that they even allowed anyone to come from the outside and oh. even though tibet got um thrown over by china bhutan didn't because oh. it's a it's the land of the ha- you know happiness and enlightenment and the nice. king every all the kings and and uh, some of the wives of the kings are actual enlightened beings. It's where um, it's, I, I was just in heaven in every moment. And I'm going to take some of my friends there again sometime because it is the, if you love spirituality and meditation yes. and you want to go to somewhere that for thousands of years have been teaching this, it's the land of happiness. Mm. Everything that they do is about happiness. I got to meet the queen. Her husband nice. went off into the Himalayas to just meditate for the rest of the life after he became enlightened and her son had just become king. So that was amazing to meet her and to um, yeah. go to the tiger's nest. And I mean, if you just even look at pictures of Bhutan, it is, it's like something out of like, you know, the lost horizon was about Bhutan. That movie. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, just but good, good question. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I love that. That's awesome. All right. We are going to close out today. This has been so much fun. I have enjoyed it so much. I almost forgot we were recording. (laughs) I hope we were recording. Oh, yes. (laughs) This show is this show is gone on. (laughs) All right. So I will definitely put all of her information in the show notes and you can click on the link and get her wonderful goodies. And I appreciate you so much, Michelle, for Thank taking you, the time and coming Thank on you. the show. God bless and you. we're going to close it out. And I thank you for joining. Thank you for watching us or listening to us with whatever platform you're listening or watching. And if you are changing the planet and you want to come on straight out of Savannah and talk about it, send me a message. So thank you so much for joining. Bye now. <laughs>